Hello friends, from this video tutorial, we are going start discussing teacher module, in this module we will discuss, how admin add new teacher records, with profile image. How can admin edit existing record, how admin can delete teacher records, and load teacher record in jQuery data table. In this attendance system, admin can assign one grade to each teacher, so this is basic introduction of this teacher module. Now let's start discussing this module, this is teacher table with table column like, teacher ID, teacher name, teacher address, teacher email ID, teacher password, teacher qualification teacher date of joining teacher image and teacher grade id admin can add teacher data so on that data teacher can log in into attendance system from front end area for take student attendance now we have go to teacher.php file and here first we have write include statement with header.php file. It will take all property of header file into this teacher.php file. Under this page, we have create one table with ID is equal to teacher table. We will use this ID value as selector load jQuery data table data. Under this table we have create 7 table column like, image, teacher name, email address, grade, view, edit and delete. First we want to load data into jQuery data table, for this we have go to jQuery code. And here we have write data table variable is equal to table id teacher table with data table method. It will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this data table method, we have write processing option set to true. This is feature control the processing indicator. Then after, we have write second option server side option set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. Now we have write order option with blank array value, this will initial remove table order from table column. Now we want to load data from teacher table by using ajax in data tables so we have define ajax option and under this we have first write url set to teacher action dot php in second ajax option we have write type and here we have write post so here it will use post method for send data to server in third ajax option we have write data here we can define which data we want send to server so here we have write action variable with fetch value so here our jquery code is ready now we have go to teacher action.php file and here first we have write include statement with database connection.php it will make database connection. Below this we have write session start function. It will start session on this page. After this, we have write if statement. And under condition we have write. Is set function with dollar post action variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write, if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. 
Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from teacher table, inner join grade table, on grade table dot grade ID is equal to teacher table dot teacher grade ID. After this we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post search value variable, if this condition true then, it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like where teacher table dot teacher name like dollar post search value variable. Below this, we have again write or teacher table dot teacher email ID like percentage dollar post search value variable. And lastly we have write or grade table dot grade name like dollar post search value variable. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post order variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like, order by dollar post order variable with zero index with column variable. And dollar post order variable with zero index with directory variable, this block will execute if user sort table column data. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like order by teacher table dot teacher ID in descending order. For data table pagination, here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar query variable, and in this we have append query like limit dollar post start variable, and dollar post length variable. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. After this we have write, dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. For store data, here we have defined dollar data variable is equal to array. Below this we have write, dollar filtered rows variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return no of rows affected after query execution. Now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop, it can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store data temporary. Below this, we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to teacher image folder name slash dollar row teacher image variable it will display teacher image from teacher image folder after this 
for store teacher name data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row teacher name variable. Same way for store teacher email ID data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row teacher email ID variable. Now we want to store grade name data, so here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row grade name variable. After this, we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to button type is equal to button, name and class is equal to view teacher, ID is equal to dollar row teacher ID variable. In button text we have write view, we will use class as selector in jQuery code, and fetch teacher ID value from ID attribute in jQuery code. Now we want to make edit button, for this here we have write, dollar sub array variable is equal to, button type is equal to button, name and class is equal to edit teacher, and ID attribute is equal to dollar row teacher ID variable, and in button text we have write edit. Same for delete button, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to, button type is equal to button, name and class is equal to delete teacher, ID attribute is equal to dollar row teacher ID variable. In button text we have write delete, we will use class as selector in jQuery code, and fetch teacher ID value from ID attribute in jQuery code. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to sub array variable, it will store all dollar sub array variable value into dollar data variable. Below this, here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with first key draw value set to dollar post draw variable. In second key we have write records total value set to dollar filtered rows variable. In third key we have write records filtered. And it value get from get total records function with two argument like dollar connect variable and teacher table name. And in last key we have write data with value get from dollar data variable. So, this way we have store data under dollar output variable. For send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. Here we have write echo statement with JSON and code function with dollar output variable. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see different menu on web page, so we have click on teacher link. After click on teacher link on web page, we can see teacher table data on web page in data table. Here we can see different data table functionality like searching, pagination, sorting any more other, no we will see how to add teacher data. In this part, we have covered teacher module, first feature like load teacher data in jQuery data table, in next we will discuss next feature like add or insert teacher data. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.